Hello everyone and welcome to another Hungry Heffy Crafts video with myself Leslie Oman and today we're going to be making a Christmas card using um, some dies and also my silhouette cameo and you can see here that it has a little bit of dimension and a pop of colour. So to get started today I'm making a card and I thought I would pull out these nestability dies from quick cuts it's an older die but definitely one of the the classics a timeless die i think you get several different uh, sizes of stars in the packet and it's really cool that they fit in one another as well so you can create frames i'm taking some card blanks here and i'm going to start with um, my trimmer and simply going to cut along the middle crease as i want to have a, a raised platform, a raised um, top piece on my card that will have little apertures cut using these dies. So I'm moving my star dies around on the top just to try and position them exactly where I want them to be and it doesn't have to be exact. Um, I quite like the idea of having one hanging off the side but I will also be uh, trimming down the the edge of the card too so I'm not really going to worry too much at this point in time I'll grab my cuddle bug here and put my B plate down first so that when I put this on here I can put the dies exactly where I want them to be put the C plate on top and then roll them through the machine just about here I think will work nicely. I want to have them not all facing the same way, I want them a little bit more um, haggard and um, looking a bit more haphazard. Now what I'm going to definitely do is pop out these cutout shapes because I'll be using them as part of my design. So I'll pop them up here for just now and then I will cut out some more shapes. So you can see here on my card that I have run it through the machine once again, cutting out a few more of those star shapes using the quick cut dies. So this is the, the top layer and next I'm going to trim down some of the edges and pop it onto my card. I'm taking about an eighth of an inch of the edge so when it sits on uh, my folded card there is almost like a border all the way around an even border and it, this star is poking off the side which I really liked the idea of. Right let's see what this looks like on my card so it's going to be a bit like this you probably can't see it very well on the camera let me lift it up to see if you can see a bit better yes you can see there the, the shadows with the lights coming in I think that'll look really cool and next I'm going to be adding some color behind the the stars in the apertures and to do that I'm going to have some washi tapes I have some hooks in my craft room so I've tied a bit of twine around one of my washi tapes and then threaded the some more washi tape through that twine and I can just hang it up on my wall um, like this. Well, I guess it's like this. So I can see exactly all the washi tapes I have, grab the, the loop of twine and thread off the ones that I want when I'm using them, but quite quickly put them back on whenever I don't need them anymore. So I like these reds and greens. I think I'll take out the stripe and have these ones, but I also really like the gray. So let's have that and maybe a stripe as well. I'll put these other ones back on the hook on my wall, get them out of my way, I'll put them over here. So here I have my star and to start I'm simply going to pull some of the washi tape and lay down strips over the top of the star. I'll make sure that the, the strips are all in the same direction and they're butted up against one another, there's not any white gaps between them. And now I'm trimming around the outside edge so I have a colourful star just like 
like this. And just smooth down some of those edges. And if I lay this top layer on the card and center it, I can take my, my glue runner here and pop a little bit of adhesive in the aperture. I don't really need an awful lot. And holding that top layer in place, I will put the star back into the hole it came from, like this. When I remove the top layer then, it's in exactly the same place, or exactly the right place that I need it to be. So I'm going to do the rest of the stars now, and then we'll assemble the rest of the card. So now what I've done is I've taken my stars and put them onto my my cutting mat here and I have laid strips of the washi tape over the top and if I rub my finger over the top of the stars um, you may not be able to see very well in the video but I can see clearly here the edges and the raised bumps on the edge of the stars. So what I'm going to do is take my craft knife and cut along those edges using the edge of the star and the bump as a guide. So when I do that, my stars will pop out really easily like this. And I'll be able to use that to stick onto the card. So I've done and cut out all my pretty star shapes and I have lined up the top layer of the card based on the, the first star that I stuck down. And now I'm putting a little bit of glue into all, each of the holes and putting those stars back in their place. Um, I want to make sure that all the washi tape is lined up differently. This one's top to bottom, this one goes from bottom left to top right. And this creates a nice whimsical feel that I think is really cool. So I'm doing that purposefully and sticking these stars onto my card. So let's finish that off now. So now that I have stuck down all my stars, I'm going to very gently lift up this top layer. I'm doing it slowly because I really don't want any of those stars to move. Okay, I'll set that to the side and now I'm going to do a little bit of glamorizing of this top layer and I'm going to use my Wink of Stella markers that I um, got as a present. And there is a clear glitter pen in the pack and I'm going to just simply draw a line along the outside of each of these stars and um, just to add a little bit of sparkle to the final project. So I'll go around each one of these stars and hopefully you'll be able to see in the final project a little glint and shimmer along the edge and the outside of those stars. Now we're ready to assemble the, the card. So I've taken the top layer here and put some foam pads on the back and all I need to do is to line up the stars with the apertures on the top. So let's do that and stick it down just like this. So what I really like is the dimensions. If you hold it to the side, you can see that it's a bit more interesting than just sticking the stars onto a card. Right, I want to do a greeting now and I have got this die cut word, not die cut, sorry, electronic cutting machine word that I cut with my Silhouette Cameo and um, I wrote it myself using some software on the iPad and then did a, a trace. But I don't want white on white so I'm going to colour it. So I'll stick this cut shape onto the sticky side of a post-it note uh, like this. Uh, that means it'll stay put when I'm colouring it, but I know that I can pick it up um, easily and stick it back onto my project. Not sure if you can see the white on white there, so let's bring in some colour. Now, I really like the grey in the washi tape, so I'm using this, this grey uh, Hero Arts ink pad with a finger dauber. So let's just dab some ink on there to change the word Christmas from white to grey. Just like this, very gently, 
tapping my finger up and down to cover all the, the letters. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. There we go. Now, that's the word Christmas, but I wanted the word Merry. So I have this little stamp that says Merry Christmas and I've stamped it a few times in different colors. I'm not sure whether I want gray text on a white background or white text on a gray background. So at the bottom of that piece of card there, you can see that I've rubbed the ink pad on it. So I'm going to emboss using some white embossing powder. I'll just go over the top with my embossing bag to get rid of any stray bits of moisture. And let's stamp with some embossing ink. And sprinkle some white embossing powder on there. So now we're ready to blast this with the heat gun. I've embossed this piece now and I'm just really playing and placing the, the words onto the card just to see what it looks like. And I really like the white on grey one, but let's see what this one looks like too, just so that I can see which is my favourite. No, I definitely like the, the white on grey one. So let's stick these down. Just a little bit of glossy accents will do the trick. A few little dots on the back of the handwritten die cut word. And also a little bit on the back of the Mary embossed stamp bit. And we're ready to go. I think I'll put that just right there in the middle like this maybe tuck it underneath the R very slightly so here I've got my my words stuck down now but I thought I would add a few little bits of bling so I'm poking out some diamantes and Let's stick them on also with some glossy accents, I think. I've got some large ones and some smaller ones. So we'll stick them on just now to finish the card. And I'll just use a pair of tweezers. There was a little tiny gray mark on the top layer of my card and uh, the diamante is just perfect for covering that up. So here's the final card. It's clean and crisp and fresh and funky with lots of colour but also a little bit of bling. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Many thanks for stopping by today and please do check out any of my other videos and projects at www.hungryheffycrafts.com.